phone call to give it to her. So y'all call at 600-5000. I look forward to meeting you. In fact, we gave it to her after, yes, last week's program, Sister Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Someone called. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to get a hold of them. We gave them a tour at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. We'll do it any time. You call, I haul. That's all. That's our rule, the Crawford, or the, or the, our good folks, the... Uh, Caldwell family. Yes, I went blank. Those are our guests today. So let's move along. We'll talk a little bit, maybe a little bit more about our career fair. We had over 40 professionals there from a variety of occupations. We had kids there from 10 different schools, wow. Sister Carolyn. Not a bunch of kids from 10 different schools, but 10 different schools were represented besides International Academy awesome. of Flint. We did an evaluation. We handed that out. And board member Smith helped with that. And... Uh, the evaluation read, I'll just say pretty well. I'll be very conservative and say pretty well. And there were several good suggestions about doing it again next year that the uh, professionals made to us. So we'll follow those suggestions and see if we can improve upon it. Because nothing you do probably can't be done a little bit better. So we'll try mm -hmm. to do that next year as well. And next year, Sister Karen, I want you and your daughter to be, because you skipped out on me this year. <laughs> we'll get you. Now, I know somebody's going to text you and say skipper huh skipper yeah, right? that was, you're going to get it now from some real <laughs> friends i know you are <clears throat> okay let's introduce our guests uh, we have the caldwell family uh, in front of us and alongside of us and what a treat this family has been to our school uh, they have graduated two of the finest young men in north america yes. uh, and south america yeah. And Europe. Yeah. And Asia. Oh, <laughs> hey, well, thank you. Thank you. oh we are thank so proud you. of those young folks. And uh, you folks as a family, just to be commended. And look what I see across from me, all dressed up in his Easter outfit, his pre-Easter outfit. And uh, he is on the way to uh, follow in the footsteps of uh, two wonderful brothers. And we're going to have him read to us this morning a little bit as well. So I don't know who'd like to be first. Mr. and Mrs. Caldwell, who'd like to say hi to our audience and and maybe give us a greeting. Hi, I'm Betty Caldwell, and we have two young men that graduated from Flint Academy of Flint, International Academy of Flint, <laughs> sorry, and we're very proud of the school that they did, I mean, they done, they have done great things for our boys, and they're young men now, and we have another young man following into their footsteps. Yeah. And this little hot dog's in what grade, young? Can you can you switch the mic a little bit so he we can get to hear a little bit from him? What grade are you in, buddy? Second grade. Second grade. Are you married yet? No. no. Okay. All right. Just check it. I gotta check. I'm a second grader. Sometimes they slip away in a lope on me, Sister Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Caldwell, if you'd be so kind, sir, yeah, maybe you talk a little bit and this, tell uh, us um, a little does. bit about something. Yeah, it's an honor to be here, and it's a very very grateful to be here. An honor to God. And I could, there's a lot of things I could say about International Go Academy. right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> well, because I had two sons, and they're really doing well. Matter of fact, I spoke to one of them, Elvin, this morning. And, uh, well, he's studying for his LSAP. And, uh, you know, some folks don't know what that's about, LSAP. Okay, the LSAP, Maybe, he's yeah. studying uh, to become a lawyer. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's just like a ACT, but you're going to be a lawyer. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. Okay. It's a big one. He's studying for that. And, uh, you know, he's also working, too, so he's, he's staying pretty busy, and I'm proud of him. And I spoke to my other son yesterday. He's down in New Orleans in the Big Easy uh, during spring break, so okay. he's, he's getting a little break, and his, he's, he's majoring in uh, uh, mathematics and also science, okay. yep. and uh, I'm proud of him. He'll be graduating this this June, right. so I'm proud of him, okay. and they, they're both uh, graduates of uh, International you Academy of Flint, yeah. and uh, I'm proud to say they really, they're doing well, and it's, it's, it's really an honor. You know, with young kids to, to really say something that you're really proud of them because there's so many things, so many obstacles yeah. in front of them that they face nowadays that, you know, as we were coming up, we didn't face a lot of the things that they face. It's, and, it's, it's and a just, society. Just yeah, to sure. overcome them is just uh, the grace of God and it's just a blessing. And it's something that you really have to be thankful for, mm -hmm. and, and not you have to be thankful for that every day. Yeah. Well, we did what we could, but again, the the root of all of this, the foundation, is the family. And if that family's strong, and and what we do as a school, those kids will clearly succeed. And you clearly, without question, laid a strong foundation. And that's why those young men are doing so well. And I want to commend you both on the air, and I would do it privately too. But I just really think very <laughs> highly of you both. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Now, Board Member Smith, we talked a little bit um, during our uh, career night about dual enrollment. Yes, sir. And this young, uh, 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 
this uh, family here had one of uh, the children involved in uh, dual enrollment at the University of Michigan. He was involved in, uh, I think, a calculus class while still attending International Academy. So he owned both, earned both college and high school credit, which we can do now. We do that with our uh, AP program, Advanced Placement. Okay. And I know that Elvin took part of that. But he did yes. so well in Spanish. He went to become a teaching assistant, I think, his first year at college. Yeah, okay. that's but, true. Yeah, we, great. board member Smith and us and a couple other folks talked about expanding our opportunities to do that uh, in the coming years. So I'm glad that see, this is a living example, sir, of what um, how it works, and it works so very, very well. Now, if uh, Elvin is going after his, uh, his where is he going to go to graduate school? He's still kind of looking around right now, but he's got a couple. Uh, did he have a, uh, uh, was it Chicago? Oh, my University of Chicago? Chicago, I believe. He, okay. He said he had a couple in mind uh, in uh, Loy Loyola. Loyola? Loyola. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, that's yeah. outstanding university, yeah. too. So if he could say it, he could get there. Yeah, right? yeah, he could <laughs> say it. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, folks. Loyola University, you got to say it slow. And yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> yeah, that would be. He's very capable of that. School, oh, yeah. So he's very capable. Yeah, he's he capable can say it a lot. School. He can say it better than I can. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Um, now that yeah, and down the the spring break in the Big Easy that refers yeah. to uh, uh, Louisiana, New Orleans. New Orleans yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. he's not taking it too easy down there. Uh, uh, I okay. hope not. He, he, I talked to him yesterday, and uh, well, you know. Dad, can you send me some money? Oh, <laughs> mercy. Uh -oh. That happens in your house, too? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Every month. <laughs> and I know you probably sent it because you're wonderful oh, folks. Yeah. And uh, those are two good kids that have great values, and uh, I Thank trust you. them exclusively. I really do. Say, talking about values and things, uh, your home church, let's give them a plug if you don't, if you don't, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Christ Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church at... Reverend Mark Anthony Jones is our pastor, okay. Okay. and we really enjoy the church I'm very sure you much. Do. Okay. Yes. Uh, where the when the boys were at school, did they hook up with the church down there as well on the campus of Kalamazoo College? Yes, they attended several churches there, but they would drive out to Three Rivers to really? um, yeah. Reverend Tobert's church. I can't think of the name of the right. church, but it's a friend. It's a Reverend Tobert is a fa family friend, mm -hmm. oh, and he oh, also oh, okay. attended church at Christ Fellowship. We would go to their church, and uh, Mount Tobert would uh, come to exchange, Christ Fellowship. Sort of yeah, it's kind of exchange. So the boys kind of grew up knowing, knowing yeah. the daddy, Reverend okay. Tobert, the son has the church now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, buddy, are you? You think you'd like to introduce yourself to the everybody that's listening yeah. and watching? You want to try to do it now, Mr. Chase? So tell us who you are and a little bit about second grade. And and do you have a career in mind? Do you know what a career is? No way. What you want to become when you grow up? Yes. Okay, we'll talk about that. But let's let's have you say a few words, and we'll get the mic a little bit closer to you. And uh, who is your teacher in grade two? Miss Watson. Oh, my goodness. That's my buddy, Miss Watson. All right. Introduce yourself. And... Um, yeah, you are going to introduce yourself in some special way here, I think. Yes. So you take it from there. Go ahead. My name is Chase Bobo. My teacher is Mrs. Watson. My art teacher name is Mrs. Smith. And pupil teacher is Mr. Beard. Oh, yes, I know Mr. Beard. My Spanish teacher is Mrs. Rendon. Okay. My gym teacher is Mr. Z. That's his nickname. Or you can call him Mr. Zarco. Okay, Mr. Z. Right. <laughs> well, I know most of those people. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, tell us, you like it there? Please say yes. <laughs> I did blow my game. <laughs> okay. How you feel about the school? Yeah, Mother, you interview him. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please. I like it. Okay. Very much. Very much. And what kind of school is it? It's a great school. And that's one. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Seven. Okay, Chase. Why don't you tell us a little about, about a little bit about the Reading Buddy program yesterday? Oh yeah, tell it was us. Great, it was nice. The only thing I liked was about the food. The food. We the had food, food yesterday. Great, yes. Okay. And tell us, tell us about it. What did you do? What did we do there? Take air test. We took a 
Chase. We took an AR test. And how do we take an AR test? What's the first thing we have to do? Read the book. Read the book. And we read and the book. And we take an AR test. And we take an AR test. And the AR test, it consists of five questions. Okay. And each question is worth 20 points. And mm. if you get all five, happened. if you get, if you answer all five questions, how many points would you get? A hundred, and if you pass five AR tests, you get to participate in the AR assembly, which is they dancing. They changed it. They changed it for it's no ten. ten now. We get into that change. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about it. Don't argue in the second grade. You're gonna lose, folks. So, <laughs> it's over. The first two was five, and the last one for the end of the year is how many chase? How many do you have to pass to participate? Ten. Ten. Okay. And so what they do is they have an AR assembly, and you get to dance, and they have little different activities that the ch children participate in at the assembly. And yesterday, Reading Buddy was for the parents and siblings, the older ones, or he mentors. He had, he had to work. No, I wasn't there. <laughs> and uh, the, mentor, the mentors come and assist the children in reading. And it was a very enjoyable program. I really enjoyed it. That's and great. And then afterwards, we had snacks. And the uh, snacks were really great. And we got to watch a scholastic movie. I want to say the best, the best snacks. Okay, and Chase can tell us the best snacks. The barbecue chips and the cookies <laughs> and the drink. Okay. Very good. We, I'm sure all of those fell within the correct. nutritional guidelines of the state of Michigan. <laughs> right. There would be no question about this. Imperative that we adhere to that regularly. <laughs> <laughs> we did have water. We did have water. We did have water. She took, she took the chocolate chip cookies and the drink and sneaked them out of my we have to find out. Ms. Cole, if you kept using that word AR, do you recall what that stands for, AR? I really don't know. Okay, right. I know it's an AR, and they, the teachers tell me AR, and it's an AR assembly. And I asked Chase earlier, I said, what does it stand for? And he said he didn't do you know. know. So I'm going to know next time I come. a hundred times. Time, hundred times. <laughs> so I'm well, going to have to find out myself. Well, I, I might I know. You think I could share? Yes, you okay. could share thank, with Thank us. you very much. I'm losing yeah. control of my show here. <laughs> <laughs> this is an accelerated reader, and we subscribe oh, to that okay. from accelerated oh. reader. And that we just really encourage kids to read so very much outside of class. And for each of those extra books that they read that you described so perfectly with those five questions, you nailed it. And then uh, we, for those kids that read all of those extra books, we have an award assembly, the AR assembly, and then provide them with uh, uh, awards for all the extra books they did. And classes compete against each other, yes. just kind of competitive. So you nailed it. You just <laughs> couldn't think of the title. And don't worry about that. Hey, I hear we have another guest with us today. His name is Dr. Zeus. And would you mind reading something from Dr. Zeus Chase? Would that be all right? Yes. Yes. Okay, just open your book to whatever you got and give us the name of that title. Green Eggs and Ham. And it's certainly related to March 17th, Sister Carolyn. Yeah. Green Eggs is today is what, Bet Board Member Smith? St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you want to read a little bit so we can uh, hear you, then we'll kind of move on and see what else we can cover today. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. That Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Will you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them Sam I am. I could, what you I could write like a book, I know that. In a house? <laughs> what you I could do like this. them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam I am. Would you would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. 
I will not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Well, he reads very well, Mom. And Thank you. Right. Maybe mm -hmm. he's flying through that. I know he's familiar, but still, Would you don't know what you're saying. Cut you in a car? <laughs> eat them. Eat them. Here they are. I would not cut not in a car. You may like them. You will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I'm waiting I for do those not two like magic them. words. I do not like the them. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. You really do read well, buddy. And you are dressed up. And by the way, I want to compliment your son for almost, I would say, four out of five days of the week, he is in a shirt and tie. And he's yes. second grade. And he's the only child that wears a tie and a shirt that often. And I commend you. He looks so sharp particularly in gym class. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you sweat like a little goose running down the road. And, uh, it's just, we're just so happy you guys are with us Thank today. You. Chase, you, did, you read very well, buddy, and I'm going to tell you two big bucket-headed brothers how good student you're going to be. And I'm, we're very proud of you, too, and you dress very, very well, young man. And we are very glad that you have selected our school to go to. And we want to see you graduate just like your brothers. They went to both to Kalamazoo College. Now, folks, you might think Kalamazoo College is not as good as a university, but that's really not the case. Kalamazoo College is on the campus of Western Michigan University and is highly respected. The tuition there is twenty-eight to 30000 a year, $30,000 a year. Folks, that's big time money. So uh, that's $120,000, dollars a for four years of college. Oh, please, you don't. You're not a two-bit institution when you charge that kind of tuition. That's a very good. It's basically be called a liberal arts college. What is that? What we call it? Yes, that's okay. Indeed. One of the finest uh, in America, quite yes, honestly, yes, and I certainly agree. ranked uh, very parallel with the rankings of University of Michigan exactly. Ann Arbor. So again, uh, the two young men that you had uh, were outstanding young men, as we all have said. We've been on the program before, but to go to that college, graduate from it at the standing that they had, uh, you are clearly to be commended. And yeah. we're going to take some credit for that too. We give you a lot of credit. We give you a lot of credit. We help prepare them for yes, that. Yes, you did. Without your part. Uh, our part wouldn't have worked. So thank you very, very much. And of course, the big part of that was how well those individuals, those kids themselves, yeah. yes. wanted to work. They had goals. They reached them. And now that one's going to, our, to um, uh, we believe he'll be in a, uh, law, school. a, a law school. I couldn't yeah. think of that simple yeah. word. And then your son, the other son, will be a mathematician, you Math think? Science. Yeah, medical. Now, you, it will be medical then, yeah. where he's headed? Yes. Okay. Well, what kind of medical career has he kind of thought about that yet? He must have. He, he right now is just math and science. science. Yes, yeah, math, and science. math and science. But do you think major. he'll lean towards medical? For, for a while he was talking about it, but he's kind of keeping his options okay. open. He, so. he would. He's a very bright young yeah. man. He will. Okay. So. Well, keep us posted. We'd like to do a feature on both of those young folks. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, we will. All right. Uh, Brother Paul, have you got anything you'd like to holler over the airwaves today? Definitely. Because, and yeah. I wanted to thank you. Seriously, we had a little fun with you last Thursday evening. Because of uh, you know we just respect all that you do and you you bring the worst out in all of us. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but uh, maybe you'd like to say a little something. I think the month of June's coming up, isn't it, buddy? It is. It is. What do you it got is. happening in that? Day? Well, you know we're getting ready for this year's Juneteenth celebration, yeah. our twenty second annual, and we're mm -hmm. going to have a great great time. Mm -hmm. um, we're adding what we're calling, for lack of a better name, a Juneteenth church outreach cookout. Meet and greet. How you like that name? Whoa, that's a, that, that, that's Any that, suggestions that's on shortening it? <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Okay. We kind of wanted it to emphasize what we're doing. We figured out that it would take almost ten and a half years for someone looking for a church home to visit each of the churches in the area on yeah. a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we thought, what better way to to um, you know shorten that than to bring all the churches to one area and, for lack of a better word, let mm -hmm. people do their church shopping. Yeah where you could go and talk to this pastor and get a feel for what they're doing and that pastor and so on and so forth all in one spot. Will that be in the, the surface lot or the riverbank? Well, right now, I'm, try, I'm putting feelers out. I really want to see it happen in Max Brandon Park. 
Oh, way up there. It's a okay. beautiful yeah, park. It is. it is indeed. And it would add to the festival cookout camping kind of atmosphere. As that would be on what day then? Uh, June 19th. No, but what, what day of the week? It's a Tuesday. That's, a tu it's that's a when Tuesday. you would have that event. Would I would have that Tuesday. event on a Tuesday. Okay. And we'd do like from 10 until the parade took out of, off out of the park. Right. Okay. But we've also got our urban family dodgeball, so we're looking for teams, mm -hmm. um, ten man teams. It's urban family dodgeball because it has to be two kids well, that can be on the team. Too, can't it? Oh, let's, definitely. Let's two just put Title IX here, partner. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be at least one woman on the team and at least one child on each team. Okay. It's urban family dodgeball. What we do is we close off Kersley Street, right downtown, right. and we use the the center yellow line as the center line of our dodgeball field. Right. Okay. So we have a good time with that. And, of course, we're bringing back this year the uh, Kool-Aid making contest. Everybody say, ooh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am the reigning champion. Oh. Uh, and I, I, I provide a concoction. And a concoction is something where you not only make the Kool-Aid, but you add something special to it. Now, to this make is it special. totally non-alcoholic, sir. Oh, uh, sure well, I didn't say that. That's oh, why my. I win every year. Right? Come on, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Carolyn. <laughs> Here, drink some more. Have some more. Have some more. more. You yeah. really like oh, it. Oh, mercy. <laughs> WFLT, <laughs> the gospel station. How you think that? It's a third glass that gets you. Think yeah. think okay. you but we're actually looking to hire people right now. As a part of our celebration, we print our Juneteenth tabloid, which is a publication. And we have job openings. We're looking for people that delivery. want to make a little money. Delivery? Uh, no, no. Well, we got delivery set with our IAF yeah, crew. Kids. Yeah, <laughs> your kids do the delivery. Okay. But right now, I'm looking for people not only to write articles in the newspaper, okay. but to sell the advertisements. You know, right. uh, the business cards, the name ads, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And we split the proceeds with them. Oh, that's neat. So we've got a lot of great things that's going neat. on. Very I'm going to give out a phone number. Make okay. sure everybody can get, get a hold pen, of me. Get your pen. Get your pencil. Here um, goes. It's 239 Two nine zero one. That's two three nine two nine zero one. I encourage you to give me a call and join the village. What number is that? That's not the number I call, is it? No, you call the bat phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it like that, Art. You okay. got it like I that. It. I do. Or is it my it bird again. phone? Two, two three nine. <laughs> right. Two three nine. Two, two three nine two nine zero one. one. Okay. Spectacle Productions. Okay. SpectacleProductions dot com. Okay. You can check it all out on the website. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you. And, Paul, uh, I know another big thing's happening in June. I think it's called graduation. Yes. Uh, you're getting rid of Paul Jr., sir. You know, yes, I am sir. so excited. Yes, I sense that. I can't decide what to do with that room. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do a puzzle room <laughs> or a clay figurine room. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do or with that Or a Kool-Aid-making room, maybe. There you go. Oh, <laughs> nice. I like the way you think. Has he decided yet where he's headed, sir? You know... I don't think he has. Okay. Uh, he's been accepted at six schools. Yeah, six or seven. Six or seven. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. So he's really, you know, he's got his choice. So yeah. I'm going to help him when he asks for it, but yeah. I'm going to let him do it no, on his own. That's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Board Member Smith, can a guy convince you to come on in and say something? You want to take my chair or how do you want to do this? I'll just step he's up here next okay. to Chase. All right. and, and I want to help Paul out a little bit. Everybody come down to his Kool-Aid Festival and have some of Paul's sacramental wine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Just, yeah. WFLT, the gospel yeah. station. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now, let, um, more yeah, member, let me much. ask you a question, and we'll see where that goes. So you obviously were at career night, and maybe you could respond. I'm sure you knew some of the... Uh, people that were at the boots, uh, certainly the government folks, and you want to chat a little bit about your impression of it? We haven't really talked, so I don't know what you're going to say, but I, I we'll was see very, what you got. I was very impressed with the turnout from the professionals, the doctors, the Great. pharmacists, the uh, gentleman with uh, MSU Extension, the 4-H Club. Uh, Scott Kincaid came out, councilman from the 9th Ward. The mayor was supposed to make it, but because of what was going on with the courts in Ingham County, he was unable to, okay. which I think everybody probably knows what the judge in Ingham mm -hmm. County did regarding the emergency manager, mm -hmm. and that is, mm -hmm. I, even though I hate to say it, that is a little more important to the city of Flint mm -hmm. than him coming to the mm -hmm. uh, career night. But uh, the chef from Mott College, College yeah. I mean, the, the turnout was fantastic, and I didn't realize we had that many schools that were represented yeah. by students. But, yeah, because uh, we had them had signed in. That's how I know I'm pretty accurate in that statement. But yeah. uh, I, I know that all the professionals to, that I spoke to that mm -hmm. night were very pleased with the turnout. Mm -hmm. And I, I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. very oh, surprised. very good. Pleasantly then. Of yes. course. We had another board member there too, our president. You and 
vice and vi president, vice president attended. And that's, from a standpoint of a staff member, that's extremely encouraging. So we well, want to thank you, sir. Well, you know, we just want to show that our students and the parents and the staff and the staff plus the professionals mm -hmm. that the board does support what's going on in the mm -hmm. school, and that's why we're there. Yeah. And I think that might be, folks, why we're kind of a family operation there. Would, maybe could, are you comfortable with that thought, that we're a family there? Yeah, it's very okay. comfortable. All right, very good. Um, board member, anything else you'd uh, like to talk about? Uh, just real quick, uh, so the parents who are listening to us know uh, the board is still looking at the possibility of uh, leasing some buses and leasing some drivers for those buses so we have our own bus service. It's not a definite that we're going to do that. Uh, we just opened the bid yesterday. Art and myself and uh, Laurel Lynn Coggins, who is the uh, board liaison officer for the board, make up that committee as well as our board attorney. We're going to make a very small presentation on Monday night to the board. The committee is going to meet again in about a week and a half or so and finalize some stuff and look at the finances and figure out if we can do it. And uh, so, you know, mm -hmm. we'll probably have some okay. news in April as to where we're going to go with that. And uh, last, uh, you directed me last week to announce uh, to the audience regarding getting their applications in for board members. That's now passed, but I know some people responded, so I don't know the total number. You may know, sir. How many we have a total of eight individuals who have expressed an interest. Oh, my. Uh, one is in... Thank you, listeners. Thank one, you. One is a gentleman that actually applied for a position about two years ago and due to some health concerns had to back out, but he is interested again. We had seven other parents from the school submit their resumes. Wonderful. The board will be discussing that on Monday. Uh, I can't tell you how we're actually going to do the whole process because we're still trying to get that set up. And it looks like we only have about three minutes. Mm -hmm. but I just wanted to stop yeah, and by we and follow say the hi. legal process to do that. It's, oh, it's very much spelled out, and CMU is involved as well, our, our CMU Central Michigan University. So D definitely. We follow a definite procedure, so folks, there's no behind the, the wall kind of foolishness. It's all pretty straight. Okay. And, and I guess in closing, I just want to tell everybody, remember this St. Patrick's Day, there are some folks who like to go out and uh, maybe have a few too many beverages of whatever yeah, cho it, choice folks. they have. Watch it, watch so it, if you are out on the road today, just be careful. We want everybody to be safe and to be able to get up in the morning and say, I'm alive, and thank I think thank the dear Lord for that. Okay. So. Don't blame it on my Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to two minutes, Sister Carolyn? Yeah. And, uh, well, listen, it's about that time when we have closing remarks. And I might ask the question of you folks, if um, if you, a parent or a grandparent wanted to uh, ask you what you think about our school, what would, and they would like to send their child.